Hello everybody, my name is Clarence Wong and I would like to share a very important message today. Most of the times people get caught up with the idea that Six Sigma should be implemented as a DMAC or DMADV project. I feel that one can be equally effective by applying the tools and concepts to a specific problem or by challenging the status quo. Deconstructing a problem into its principal components or not accepting that things are great usually brings to light hidden opportunities which were not uh, there at plain view and before you know it you start connecting the dots voila you've got yourself a viable Six Sigma project this approach is particularly successful in a non Six Sigma environment like Google where I am currently employed for the last six months Armed with over four years of experience in implementing successful projects like improving the overall operating efficiency, um, improving passing rate for statutory investment examinations, and redesigning the online fraud prevention process at HSBC, I knew the application of Six Sigma tools is what would put me on the map, pun intended, since I am associated with the Google Map Maker. My starting point was automating the auditing system used by the auditors at Google and subsequent training to teach them how to use the new system. This resulted in a three week backlog being wiped off in a matter of 10 days, uh, elimination of duplication of work and for the very first time daily feedback was now possible to the operators. By doing a Pareto analysis, I was able to identify the top errors by magnitude and occurrence. Uh, seeking the advice of the training and policy team, we were able to find the causes of these errors by using a cause and effect analysis. This resulted in refresher trainings being conducted as well as key policy changes. The next two weeks saw a rise in quality from 85% to 89%. Not satisfied with the improvement, I wanted to assess the effectiveness of the standard operating procedures in use as well as to determine the optimal performance targets since the current targets were more gut feel than scientific. For determining the optimal targets, I carried out a DOE. The results of the experiment indicated that an initial training period of four weeks followed by increasing productivity levels every two weeks in increments of 50 till the target of 200 was achieved was the way to go. This was accepted and implemented and quality rose from 89% to 92%. Next, I carried out an MSA to gauge the effectiveness of our standing operating procedures. What came to light was that a general policy framework was not, was not accurate to carry out work across geographical regions. The end result was framing of specific region policies and having specialist regional teams rather than a generalistic approach. And this resulted in an MSA score of 80% as opposed to 68% the first time round. An additional benefit of this was that quality now rose from the 92% mark to 95%. The next approach I employed to drive quality scores even further was to assess uh, trainer performance. The current situation was to assess trainer performance by using trainee feedback. To me this did not sit well so I wanted to check the correlation between uh, trainee feedback scores and actual quality scores of operators in a four week period post training. Uh, out of 23 people who underwent uh, training, only three of them actually met quality targets. And when I looked at the aggregate trainer feedback score of 4.89, five being the maximum, it just confirmed my doubt that this was a useless metric and we needed to have something more concrete. So here's a recap. I was able to improve 
operating efficiency from 65% to 125% and quality from 85% to 96%. By deploying Six Sigma tools like Stakeholder Analysis, Pareto Analysis, Cause and Effect Analysis, ANOVA, DOE and MSA. Not at any stage did I ever plan to run a complete DMAC or DMADV project. I just looked at the immediate problem in front of me, worked on it and kept discovering more and more opportunities. Having witnessed what can be achieved by using just some of the Six Sigma tools, senior management has now entrusted me with putting in place a balanced scorecard for the entire mapmaker department. This scorecard would be a roll-up of performance starting from the very lowest level to the highest level within the organization. To achieve this, I will be deploying a DMADV model and I am currently in the define phase. I am confident of adding another feather to my cap on successful completion of this project. Looking ahead, I would love to continue leading and implementing successful Six Sigma projects. For me, Six Sigma is more than just a metric, a management system or a philosophy. It is, it is indeed a way of life 